Hello there, thank you for joining me and welcome to another video in the XP Deus 2 factory program series. And today we're going to be talking about program number seven, Deus Mono. The Deus Mono is very similar to your traditional Deus One. So if you look at it like that, you've kind of got two machines in one here. The Deus Mono uses a selectable single frequency from four to 40 kilohertz. Where would I use the Deus Mono? Well, I'd use the Deus Mono in areas of high EMI because it's got a single selectable frequency. So let's go over our test target and see what this Deus Mono sounds like. Now, as you know, the Deus Mono program uses a single frequency, which you can choose from low to high frequency. I think the standard frequency, the default, is about 17 kilohertz, so. And it's also using a free tone audio. It's getting that target quite nicely but there seems to be a little bit of a stutter with that target. And I think that's because we're not on the ideal frequency for this particular target. It's a high conductive silver target. So I strongly suspect that we need to go down a little bit more on the frequency. So let's drop the frequency down to 7.5 kilohertz. And that stutter seems to have cleared up a little bit. So I think for this particular target, the lower frequencies, 7.5 kilohertz, 13 kilohertz, may be your better option. Let's go up to the higher frequencies, 25 kilohertz, and see what it sounds like on this. Can you hear it's breaking up? It's really not happy with those highly conductive targets. The higher frequency is much better for your low conductive targets doesn't like that at all does it so let's go all the way down to 4.4 kilohertz in fact that's quite interesting because the 4.4 kilohertz doesn't sound as good as the 7.5 kilohertz so it's up to you to really have a play around on the day with the single frequencies but the problem is with single frequencies is unless you've got a specific target range in mind you don't really know what frequency to choose whereas the multi frequency kind of does it all for you it chooses the high and low combined so you're covering all the ranges there but Single frequency does have its place, especially if you've got areas with high EMI, what we talked about earlier. And some prefer to use a single frequency on ancient sites, such as the Roman site, contaminated with hobnails and things like that. So, okay, so we've chosen 7.5 kilohertz for this particular target. What other tweaks can we make? Let's go down, iron volume, reactivity. Now, shall we lower the reactivity? Why not? Let's see what it sounds like. Let's go down to 1.5. Definitely, that's given us another inch and a half depth. So reactivity 1.5 is the way to go on this particular target. Sensitivity is at 90. Let's try going up to 95. It certainly made that target more prominent. It's jumping out at you. So there's some little tweaks regarding the Deus Mono program. And don't forget, if you make any adjustments to any of these programs, you've made your own custom program, don't forget to save it because when you turn the machine off and on again it won't remember anything so always save your adjustments and another top tip is if you update your dais make sure you've got all your programs written down so when you reinstall the new software you've got it saved i just want to talk about frequencies for a minute now as you know dais mono has single selectable frequencies People tend to think you've got to get the exact frequency to find a specific target when 
in all honesty, all frequencies find all targets. It's just really the ground that determines how the frequency best penetrates to get the said target. So I've got a target here in front of me using the Deus Mono. I just want to flick through the frequencies and see if there's any difference. Now I know this is a high conductive target, so I suspect the lower frequencies are going to be better, give a better response, but let's see. Here we go, this is 17 kilohertz we've selected. Let's go all the way down to four kilohertz. I don't think there's a big difference between 17 and four kilohertz on this particular target. Let's go all the way up to 40 kilohertz. Now I think 40 kilohertz has made the signal a little bit softer, but there's no big differences. But here's an interesting point. Now we're using four kilohertz, we're getting some EMI coming through, aren't we? So this is the beauty of the Deus Mono. We can select the frequency and shift it. Let's go down to 32. Just dialed it off a little bit, 17. EMI is totally gone. So if you're in areas of high EMI and you're using a multi-frequency, don't be afraid to go into single frequency, Deus Mono, and then just find a clean channel. It's the difference between detecting and not detecting, isn't it? So let's have a look, see what this target is. It's coming up at around the 90s. Whoa, we've got some roots there, look. Just go a little bit, a little bit wider on this target. Oh, a lovely bit of silver. Brilliant. There you go. So don't shrug off single frequencies. Use it if you need to. Well, that's it, guys. I hope that's given you a little bit of an insight into the Deus Mono program. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.